and B. I mean, I've said many times before, prior to getting here, he was a, a guy that just would go rebound the ball and just play with his uh, physicality, starting to uh, understand spacing, which had been a problem for him, knowing where he needed to get the ball, knowing when he needed to get the ball, and, and more importantly, knowing how to get there. But uh, he's getting better at that, and, and he's uh, starting to maintain his balance throughout his moves, which is oftentimes he didn't. He just just throwing it up there with it, no chance to go in. And but he's a worker, you know. When you work as hard and put the time in that he does, he's going to you're going to get results, and normally they're they're good results. And uh, again, I think he's just scratched the surface of what he can become. Coach Burrell or Morrell is Morrell. It seems, it seems like he's been around forever. You know, what kind of a player have you seen with him this year? How has he changed? With Again, I think he's been effective every year. I mean, we recruited Matt Morell, and you know, and he, uh, I mean, he's his body's in great shape. He's, you know, he's certainly has worked on his shot through the years. He defends, and uh, he, he's a good player. He's just like uh, I'm sure they say the same thing about uh, Josiah and Santi about being around for a long time. And because of that, they've been through a lot of tough situations. They can handle most of them, and and uh, I don't think it's any different with Morell. You said that Santi needs to take more three pointers. Is there a way to scheme him open more, or is it just him pulling the trigger? No, I think he's got to pull the trigger when he's open. I think it's that simple. Is 13 games uh, enough tape to prepare for a coach in his first season and, and a roster that's pretty different from last year? Yeah, oh, yeah, we, yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, you start the season and pretty much. Uh, you know, you feel prepared going into even your first game, even when you go back and take some stuff from uh, last year and maybe a, an exhibition game, you get a feel. But uh, uh, I can only, I mean, Chris Beard's done a, just an incredible job everywhere he's ever been. And uh, you know what his teams are. They take on his personality. He, uh, they're going to play really hard, uh, execute. They don't beat themselves. They definitely aren't going to beat themselves. They don't turn the ball over. And uh, you know, he really does a terrific job of getting his players in positions where they can be at their best and uh, just have the utmost respect for him because of, uh, I've known him for a long time and I know how he's worked his way up to become one of the best in this business and uh, have a lot of admiration for him and what he's done everywhere he's ever been. In what ways has playing with Josiah been beneficial for Dalton? Well, I think he's got another guy out there. Again, I, I do think people are concerned about Josiah shooting the ball so it stretches the floor and uh, the more you can stretch the floor and give guys a chance to have space to work in, it helps. But uh, I think it also is experience, and I think Josiah's uh, demeanor and, and even Santi and Zakai on the court, uh, where they're really trying to continue to talk Dalton through situations that he's never been in before. And, uh, but I think it's just uh, the fact that he's really playing alone side all three of those guys. What do you like about what JP gave you the other night? Are you starting to get an idea of what you're going to get from him more routinely? Well, what it surprised me what he the minutes he, he put in. I, I, I didn't think he could stay out there that long and, and be effective. And, you know, he ran the court. He, he really started, again, like Tobey, starting to understand space on the floor, where he needs to be. But uh, we've, we felt from day one, once he decides in his mind and, and uh, matures and realizes this is, this is not uh, – you know, what can I say? No, it's, it's, it's serious. It's serious. And he's got to be serious every minute he's out there on the court to get better and understand how hard it is. It's hard. It's hard to play this game the right way. And uh, and, uh, and it goes back to how much you're willing to put into it. And, and his in his situation all year uh, would be, you know, the cardio toughness, you know, being able to play when you're tired, fight through it. That's where he's gotten so much better in the last, really, three weeks where he's – being able to, uh, and, I, and I think some of us listening, to be quite honest, you know, we're understanding the importance of how you ec uh, escort escort your man to a ball screen, and you got to be there. And if you're a step slow getting started, you're going to be playing three steps behind. And it's just those little detail things that I don't think he had ever thought much about. And uh, but he's starting to figure out the the details are the most important thing. And and if he'll continue to do that. And he's a guy that we think can score, too. If he'll get in there and get his space, we, we know we, we can get him the ball. He can he can do something with it. Coach, how have you liked what you've gotten with Tobey and Jonas on the floor together? It's, you know, I, I like it. You know, I don't have a problem with it. I think it almost gives you, like, two different teams. Uh, we haven't done it as much as I think we will going forward, you know, uh, because if those guys can do ex what we think they can do that, they're, they're a – 
their length and his and Tobey's ability to go rebound. It, it does make us a better rebounding team right off the bat. And uh, what it does uh, a little bit with that lineup, we, we're probably a little bit more reluctant to switch at times. Whereas with with more of the guard lineup, we you know, can switch about anything and, and make it work. But uh, that's the fun part, knowing it. Once we continue to, with each different group that we're playing with, to get better, we can uh, can get a lot better. What makes this conference so special to you, or you know, what, what stands out about the SEC? Well, I think it starts with players, for one. I mean, I've watched over my time here how the recruiting has just gone to a different level. With not just uh, this league has always been known for big body athletes, and now there's a lot of skilled players in this league, and. And I think that obviously goes right back to the coaches uh, that come in and that that know what they want, what they're looking for, and and understand what it takes to compete at, at the highest level, night in and night out. And there's been uh, there's no doubt from my very first meeting here. You know, uh, Commissioner Sankey said that he would do everything from his side to uh, put us there the best leagues in the country. He's done that uh, in a lot of different ways, but one of them is our, our officiating has improved so much to where truly believe every night you go out, you know, you're going to get a, a good game from there. And when I first came to the league, that wasn't so. So uh, it's been a lot of things that have come together, but uh, it goes back to the coaches and the players and coaches that, uh, and I think too, our scheduling outside the league has gotten so much better than when I first got here with everybody trying to play a much tougher non-league schedule. What's kind of been the decision to put Jordan Bean more in the point guard position and not Jemai as much? We're going to use them all. It's, it's, it's all of them. We're going to, you know, depending on what we think the game calls for and, and, and where it's there. I mean, we've got uh, four guys that we think we can play at the a point. Really five. We, you throw Santi there. But uh, if you watch us play on a missed shot, everybody's going to handle the ball. So it, it just depends on what the game calls for. <laughs> Coach, the way Ole Miss is shooting right now, how they can spread you out. How, man, how tough is that? To well, not only can they spread you out, but they got some guys inside you got to deal with. And they, you know, they've got two terrific shot blockers. Uh, so uh, again, they uh, again a lot of credit goes to the players, but again, Coach Beard is just what I said earlier is just putting them in a great position to be effective and hard to, hard to defend. Anything else? All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.